Hey everybody, Jason Burmis here with my very first iPhone 4 video blog. And today we're going to be talking about one of the biggest Christmas gifts of the year, the Microsoft Connect. And in particular, this article, Connect's Future, a game controller in everything. Now why is this article important and why is the Connect important? Now I've been covering it for over a year back when it was Project Natal. And what this device is, is really the next level in gaming. After all, technology is a double-edged sword. It can be used to empower humanity or enslave humanity. You're going to be running along while you're on the track. You can do moves. It really is the next best thing. You are the controller, as they say. And they're talking about reprogramming old games to work with your Kinect. And as a gamer, it's very appealing to me to say, be the guy from Mortal Kombat or pull off a Hadouken in Street Fighter. So it has that appeal for younger gamers, and of course, gamers of my era, and even older gamers. After all, this is a big business. It's often surpassing Hollywood movies at this point. Now, what is this device? Well, this device has three, count them, three, five megapixel cameras that are capable of facial recognition, yes, facial recognition, and of course, movement. So you can have multiple players doing multiple things, and this thing reads it, but that's not the most impressive part. In fact, what they brag about in this is how well it does voice recognition. It uses sophisticated algorithms so that multiple people around the room, whether they be 10 or 15 feet away, can automatically access the Xbox 360 and play together. Now, what do I mean access the Xbox 360? You can now turn this thing on with your voice because, as again, they brag in this article, it never goes to sleep. It's always listening. So now you have a device that's always listening, that can weed out ambient noise, and can recognize multiple people throughout the room. And they talk about the military and corporate potential of this. In fact, let's read right from the article. Kipman, one of the creators of this device, says he receives calls on a daily basis from people involved in the military, healthcare, mobile phones, and computers. Hmm. He also brags that it's going to be kind of like a minority report experience where the Kinect will see that you're wearing a certain t-shirt. Say, you're a Knicks fan like myself. They'll see that Knicks t-shirt and they'll be advertising to you via Xbox Live the next time you sign out or you go to something. It's pretty incredible. Another capability of this device, it's going to be the first device that gives us true Jetsons-like television-to-television teleconferencing. Yes. It's actually here, folks. If you both have a gold account in Xbox 360, this does an unbelievable job of video conferencing. Probably the best out there. But wait, there's more. Say you do want to go shopping on Amazon.com. You can scan your face and your body in, and then you move through the certain clothes and then put them on yourselves, giving you a virtual model of what they might look like when you actually buy them. Now again, I know that this is going to be a huge, huge, huge seller this Christmas. In fact, I'm already talking to a lot of people that have the device. After all, we are a generation of gamers. But if you are going to get this for a loved one or your son or your daughter this Christmas, at least pull the plug on the Xbox and take the Ethernet cable out of the Xbox if you're not going to use it. There's no reason to put a 24-hour surveillance device in your home if you're not at least going to disconnect it when not in use. This has been my very first iPhone 4 video blog. I am Jason Burmis. Check me out at facebook.com slash Jason Burmis or facebook.com slash The Info Warrior. Thank you very much.